begin the board workshop. First item on the agenda this evening is from the board president. I have this evening the first reading of revisions to policy number 9200 for parental involvement. This was discussed at length at the policy committee meeting. Are there any questions or comments regarding this revision to this policy? Yes, Mr. Levenstein. Normally, if there's changes to an existing one, it's either uh, italicized or there's lines. Um, it, it, now, so it's underlined what changes that are made to existing. Next item on the agenda that I have this evening is a resolution to appoint deputy clerks for the purpose of assisting the district clerk in conducting the school and library budget code election on May 21st, 2013. Any questions or comments on this? Next item on the agenda is from the superintendent. Thank you, Madam President. First resolution, Resolution A, to approve facilities project change orders associated with approved project, South Middle School, and Gans Renovation. Any questions on these? I know. Yes, Ms. Prokash. Yes, I think on um, C, uh, 111, uh, we need more clarification. Construction team meeting next Tuesday, and he will also be at the regular board meeting. But I'll contact him prior to that and provide the information clarification to the full board. And uh, also, um, the um, A A one that that's um, replacement, or is that are they new ones? Are they replace all the ones for the air conditioners? Um, I I will double check, but I believe. Uh, any rooms that had renovations done as part of the project, they got the new um, ACs replacing the old ACs, but I will verify that information. Any other questions on this? Resolution B to, to accept the revised project budget summary for the capital renovation project. This is the 50 million capital project.
That concludes uh, my section of the agenda, Madam President. Thank you, Mr. Pizzo. Are most of these staying the same 
Dr. Shanahan. There will be Dr. Shanahan. Uh, the uh, CASPER was going to conduct a comprehensive review of, um, of the uh, district. Um, and it is said the district, we have identified school-based and district-based uh, personnel to take on that responsibility ourselves. And, and what's the savings associated with that?
systemic change in the schools, we obviously have to involve the teachers. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Yes, Mrs. McAfee. I just am a big believer. Thank you, Dr. Shannon. Our next item on the agenda is for the Assistant Superintendent of Business. Thank you, Madam President. First item is a resolution to authorize the warning of the 2012-2013 district transportation bids.
Item C is a resolution authorizing the awarding of the 2012 13 Spring Athletic Transportation Days. Ms. Prokash. Yes, and I, again, I just have a question. We were, that's what the instruction, which one are you looking at? Which, which team are you looking at? Which? Baseball start with. I'm sorry? Varsity baseball start with. Same day, I mean, one of them on five. And it says it's a 72-passenger bus. We have a 72-kid between junior varsity and varsity. No, I don't, I don't believe that. We, we definitely don't have 72 kids on our adult teams. But I don't know if it was actually 72. I don't think I've ever seen a 72 passenger bus. That's what it says here? Yeah, no, I'll have to look into it. I'll have that answer. And also, um, because there's several of those going to the same place at the same time, and there's two buses. I know that it was explained to me at one point um, due to if there was an emergency and they had to get one team back. But I'll, I'll certainly look into it further. Okay. And the other thing, we have a little softball field, correct? Do you know? Yes. Why are we? Which, which um, are you girls, uh, Can you give me the, the number? Varsity. The item. Is there, what's the item number?
a good understanding or something. I don't know what's happening. But my point is, I'd like to know when they don't need it, what that actually means. At least. Oh, it probably means something different for each one. It's uh, probably not a universal answer to that. Uh, whoever is, is analyzing the things can probably tell you in what way they do. Our uh, food service director, Mr. Calvano, along with Belinda, a person in this moment. And they made the final determination about what they were doing with the sponsor of the responsible. They recommend to the board that you ultimately decide. Right. And so I guess what I'm saying then is I'd like to know when they make that recommendation, what that recommendation is. Like when they say it's not responsive, or responsible, what that means. Because to say you don't need it, that can be that can just say you can be the whole host of it. I like to see that at least once to try to get an understanding of exactly what we're voting for. So just to be clear. So you have, if you go to the back, you have at the back. Right. Just say you say you say the items were not specified. Are not awarded to the lowest bid of items not as specified. Right. That as Marvel just said, that could be a whole host of things. It could be that they weren't responsible. It could be that they weren't responsible. It doesn't mean they weren't responsible. It means that, they were, that, that whatever they did was not consistent with the big specifications. So they were not responsible. Right. And it could be in a variety of ways. I don't know what the big specifications were and what way they did, but you could, we could take one or two contracts and, and provide the information so you get an idea. Thank you. You, you have one, you have a couple in particular that you'd like to say? No, I, 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 I just, we're voting, right? I mean, we're voting based on someone's evaluation of it. I, like, I just like to see maybe once or twice exactly what it is. When we say, not as specified what that means. Because we don't know what that means. Right. But what I'm asking on this one, just for an okay. example, okay. if you give me one, I can, I can have it explain. Number three, number three, that was, the lowest bid was actually 1,000 something, 1,063, and the bid that we actually took was 2,000. So that's an example of that. So just that one? Yeah. Yeah, let's look at that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
and, and just just so that you know, there is policy on how to uh, get rid of, dispose of um, property that we have. This doesn't mean we throw it away. We, we'll eBay certain items. We'll we'll explore certain issues. Mr. Velez says, um, and anything that we can do to meet any type of benefit, as long as it doesn't cost money to, to get rid of it. So that's done with everything that comes before you that's labeled obsolete. Item E is a resolution to accept donations from the Hudson Valley Building Construction Trade Council of Orange and Dutchess County. This is to sponsor three students to go to the Black Rock Forest from Heritage. <laughs> Item F is a resolution to authorize payment of property tax refunds pursuant to court orders. For the land investment group in the town of Newburgh for $2,832.93. Another one for Marino, Vincent, and uh, I'm sorry, Maria and Vincent Marino in the town of Newburgh for $7,954.86. Except the code is, and you probably know better by the code, 
1110 transferred to 2250 substantial monies. Yeah, the, the A2110 is the regular teaching budget code according to the state qualification system. Uh -huh. 2250 are special needs. Okay, so, so that aligns with our staff process. So when teaching assistants and, and the 2110, especially the 120, are uh, teacher salaries, the 130 or 7 through 12 salaries, the 110s are teaching assistant salaries. By switching them into certain budget codes, they reach better aid, and they're actually appropriate, appropriately coded. Well, I just, just want to say, sure. thank you. And a lot, a lot had to do with the changes from the teaching assistants actually picking up the ones that were called back to be called going into a special needs uh, fulfillment. Yes, Mr. Lawson. Mr. Masella, did, did, did we make any payments in this for uh, homeschool? That's part of payroll. That's part of payroll. Yeah, homeschooling is payroll. So we would be able to talk to the homeschooling. No, the payroll reports are not. Um, yeah. You wouldn't be able to tell how much was given or paid in any particular week for homeschooling. Certainly, we can get you that information. Um, that's, that's easy enough to know that the document would be just way too cumbersome. I, I, the reason why I'm asking is because we had a conversation in the program mm -hmm. uh, that we have for uh, the best resources mm -hmm. and trying to get an understanding of where it came from. Right. So looking at the numbers for how much we actually paid mm -hmm. in homeschool would give us some sort of indication. Mm -hmm. uh, well, there is a budget statute for it, and I, and I don't know if it, I delight, if it itemizes just the um, that line for home teaching. If you under the 2110, then it's 170.
did come to personnel, um, and there was conversation around the people that applied and so on and so forth, but there was no mention that personnel, to my recollection, of, uh, that they would like to recommend to the board that um, the final two or three candidates, whatever, be brought before the whole board. Yes, Mrs. Michael. Yeah, personnel it was discussed that there really wasn't a big final two. Mm -hmm. So we can discuss further in executive session the, um, candidate, the candidates that were interviewed and the results of those interviews, and perhaps that will provide some clarification, Mr. Lawson. Thank you. You're welcome. Resolution M is the resolution to appoint the director of the New York Free Library. Yes. 